Origami is one of my favorite hobbies. I find it very fulfilling to fold and tuck paper in such a way that you have a puppy at the end. In fold, we won't be doing any folding and tucking, but we will be trying to find our little folded friend a home. I'm Cassie, and this is a review of Fold on the Indie Game Report. In the 18 tile game Fold, players are connecting tiles on the table in such a way that they are the first to connect six tiles of the same matching pattern, where the first player to do so is the winner. If there is a deadlock, the game moves into a tile shifting phase. Let's go take a look at the gameplay and the components, and then I'll tell you what I think of Fold. In Fold, you are working to be the first to place the sixth tile and make a connecting path of tiles of one pattern. Players on their turn simply draw a tile and place a tile. However you place a tile is up to you, but if you place it so it's the sixth tile of the same pattern, you will win the game. If the draw pile runs out before a player wins, the game continues onward using the tokens and new abilities. Now on a player's turn, they will have two options, either claim a domain or move a tile. If a domain is claimed, the player who claimed that color domain is the only one who may win with that color domain. However, you only claim a single domain at a time. The other action is to move an unclaimed tile which was also not previously moved. Eventually, a player will connect six tiles with the same pattern, and whoever does so is the winner of Fold. All right, so I'm going to start my opinion part of my review by talking about the art, the graphic design, and the theme of the game Fold. I really like the art. I thought that the little folded animals were super adorable. I like that the patterns used on the tiles are the kind of patterns you would find on actual origami paper. And I just appreciated that both of those kept within the theme. Um, speaking of the theme, I would like to say I felt that it was a little like kind of pasted on. There wasn't a lot going on with the mechanics themselves that had to do anything with folding. So I wasn't quite sure why origami was chosen as the theme, but I love origami and I wish that it had been a little more incorporated in it, but because I, you know, it just wasn't, I kind of wish that maybe it had been a different theme because I was a little saddened by the fact that there is really no folding or aspect of putting together pieces to make an origami piece or any anything of the sort. So the theme was attractive, but it didn't feel like it applied to this kind of game. Now to talk about the gameplay itself. It's a very easy game. You don't have too much going on. You're drawing a tile and you're placing a tile. It's very easy, right? I did find that the beginning of the game was really slow moving. Um, when it came to like the struggle part of the game, you're just drawing a tile and placing it. There's really not too much conflict. However, when you get towards the end of the game, when you see the tile deck is starting to run out, you're more apt to prevent your opponent from winning. So you're, you're starting to place tiles to keep them from getting that sixth pattern. And it's starting to get a little more strategic because now you have to say, if I place this here, they might place the same color there, then I could win, but what if they don't? And then, you know, I, cause you don't know what your opponent has in their hand. So you kind of have to, it's a little, it's not luck, but it's, you gotta be careful how you place your tiles, especially at the end of the game. When you do have a, a part of a game where no one wins, everyone's got all of the tiles out, and you have to start shifting tiles around, I found that to be, I found shifting tiles to be more of an action taken than claiming domains, but I, I found it to be a nice way to include a tiebreaker in the game, because that's really what it is, it's a tiebreaker. So you get to the end of the game and no one's won, how do we determine a winner? We have a new phase in the game and we keep playing and we determine a winner. And I thought that was a really neat way to incorporate that, like I said, to incorporate a tiebreaker. And the game was just an easy game to play. It wasn't too difficult. It's a small box game, so it's gonna be great to bring out to dinner, to bring out when I have just, you know, 10, 15 minutes to kill and I wanna play a game. And it's small, so I could throw it in my pocket. So altogether, I found the game to be great. I just, the only thing, like I said, that I wished was a little more incorporated was the theme and the mechanics were a little more meshed together. But overall, I enjoyed this game and I thought it was a great one. To learn more about Fold and to get a copy of the game for yourself, you can check it out down below at The Game Crafter. And if you wanna get a video done for your game, check out my website down below. I'm Cassiel, thanks for watching this review of Fold by David Shepard on the Indie Game Report.